Okay, so next up, we have got the Crypto Like a Pro Trading Masterclass with Andy Demi. We're going to break down Ethereum um, on the charts. So we'll start, I guess we'll start with the with the monthly again, If we now that we've got some more data, right? Yeah, let's go look at the monthly. Okay, so here's the here's a here's the monthly. Um, I'm just gonna change this so we get a little bit more data. So you should always look to see if there's more data around. So that's uh, a bit better. Okay. So here we are. The last resistance point is here. We haven't really had anything else since 1410. Um, you know, when you look at this monthly chart, I mean, if this, again, if this was a lower time frame, you can definitely make the case for it being down there, right? I mean, if this was an hourly chart, we wouldn't be sort of flinching at saying, oh yeah, but it could pull back to this little zone here before going up, right? We'd be thinking, yeah, that looks like a normal thing that could happen. I think because of where cryptos are and because of what the expectancy is, is that sometimes we kind of almost don't want to believe that, that these things can happen, but we should be prepared for anything. And, you know, there, there is that possibility that the market does go a bit lower. Um, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to just take the fib from high to low, and I just want to see where the pullback is. So we have the 618 is right there. So it's actually hit the 618 already, and this is the next level down. Let's go and break this down on a lower time frame but what's just one little thing to note is this um this line seems to be quite a decent line in keeping the trend so that's quite close to this area here and it's and it falls in line with this really old resistance you know old resistance should be marked down between high point and body so that would be that so this here would be an awesome zone to be buying this back at a thousand dollars Let's have a little look at the weekly chart and see what, if we're seeing anything different there, different perspective. Um, we had this old resistance here. The market did bounce, but it's trying to, you know, it's holding on this old resistance here at the moment. So it, if it breaks it, then the next kind of obvious support is back on this trend line here. Um, which is around that sort of 1400, which is actually exactly at that level, interestingly enough. Let's have a little look at that. That's interesting, right? 1400. So 1400, this is old resistance. And then when we look at the weekly, 1400, we just draw a line there. is potentially also this trend line support mm. right that's quite interesting so as as um if you've been watching this over the few weeks and especially if you're one of andy's students then you know that the c word's coming up right now confluence right yeah confluence i mean look there's um and if you look at the um the current momentum the mcd is is crossed lower it's pointing lower mm. um you know there there is definitely there's definitely potential for this to go lower i mean i don't want it to go lower but we have to kind of see what's in front of us um and this is the daily chart oops sorry let's have a little look Again, you'd be saying if you were looking at just at that as a standalone chart on a lower time frame, you would be thinking 
potentially lower, right? Yeah, potentially lower. Um, let's see if we can get a bit more of an accurate line here. This is where I miss my MT4 tools, <laughs> where it's just done for you and you know it's accurate. See, that's not accurate, is it? No. But yeah, um, okay, let's just, just gonna spend two seconds here, guys, just to get the right lines on there. And so we've got accurate data. Hmm. Trend line's broken. Um, let's draw our fibs as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to just do, at the moment, it's very hard to predict the long-term move, but we can try and predict the short-term move. So if we look at this A, B, C, D, and then I'll just draw some, these are called sub-Fibonacci's. We've got a yellowish which is about there For, wow okay 1435 yeah why am i i'm getting a lot of um confirmation for that sort of 1400 level to to, to be a key level for this one like um even my little a b c Let's zoom in on this one, guys. One second. So if you're looking for a, a good spot to buy Ethereum, let's have a look. That is pretty much, it's pulling back to the yellow zone, which means you're looking at this yellow zone here to buy, which is 14400 and... It, because this is in between the yellow and the and the um and the orange you could consider buying basically in between the yellow and the orange which is around there so between here and here i think that to me looks like the area if you want to if you want to stick an order in i like that area a lot i think that's a really sensible buy zone um, you can also see it's perfect. I mean, why is it perfect? It's got that perfect confluence with this trend line here. So we've got a sub fib. I'm not convinced that this is going to this is going to be the low, and we're going to break the highs. Um, but I think if you were if you were kind of buying here like that, you know, you've got a good chance to catch potentially at least a move back up there and then if this breaks a little bit higher um i think that's definitely a good zone if you even if you if you want to start accumulating um, more ethereum into your portfolio in the meantime you know this is channeling down um from a trading point of view you you probably want to go to the hourly charts and look to trade uh the waves down you can do counter trend line breaks you can do c to d's um, on pullbacks um, you can wait for the oscillators to kind of show um, overbought conditions um, you know whatever your game plan is um, certainly there's some room for more movement to the downside um, but yeah that that's kind of what i'm seeing at the moment i mean unless something changes right now there is some there's definitely some bearish sentiment the thing with crypto though is things can change very very quickly 
that's the reality like something can just be said or, or something is done and suddenly ethereum rallies it clears this line and then it's a completely different picture so we're just basing it on right now if you're not in it or if you haven't if you have more cash this is the zone that i'd be looking to buy um right now 14 around that 1400 it also adds it's also a really nice old resistance on the monthly that becomes future support and it gives us a bit of time for this blue line to catch up as well so if it kind of gets then the next couple of months that would be in my opinion a good buy zone and then if you wanted to sort of get really lucky you might want to be buying it down here as well around that sort of one one area interesting thank you very much for that for that breakdown mate um any questions yeah we're getting some questions about the the abcds so maybe we might have to um go into that in a bit more detail over one of the next few shows because we definitely won't be able to clarify it um now in the next five minutes unless you've got like a 30 second elevator pitch time. no we'll do it next time because it's not a 30 second job and i don't want to give people the wrong information when they do it incorrectly Awesome. Uh, but yeah, um, if you make a note of it, we'll we'll cool. help people with that question. What's your opinion on the Hakanashi candles? 